beyond daimyos and the emperor. There was another powerhouse in ancient Japan, and those were the Buddhist warrior monks, also known as the Sohei, and the Buddhist movement that led to the Ikko Iki faction coming into being and even growing to a point where it would trouble great daimyo like Oda Nobunaga. Now the first important thing to note is the difference between the Sohei and the Ikko Iki. The first is the name of a group of warriors, the latter a militant political movement that led to people of all classes, including some samurai, coming together to throw off samurai rule. The most famous of these and who were conflict with Oda Nobunaga were those of the Tendai sect at Mount Hie at Enryakuji temple complex outside of Kyoto. That being said, most temple complexes over Japan's ancient history will have their own Sohei on hand to push agendas. The Ikko Iki will come from a direct rise of power of the Sohei over the 10th to 17th century as their ideals could not be put down effectively even if it was obviously rebellious. Their religion making them a hard faction to deal with due to the stigma of attacking a monk being an attack on Buddhism itself. Now although many knew Buddhists as peace-loving, like any religion, difference in interpretations of scripture led to breakaway factions and new temples and thus inter-rival violence between the Buddhist temples became a norm since the beginning. The militant behavior also extended into the political structure of Japan from open protests of court decisions to even siding with samurai clans in war for personal benefit. Thus it is not unbelievable that with such an emphasis on martial skill that in some temples some of the warrior monks were kept on more for their fighting ability than for their piety. History-wise, warrior monks first appeared in the historical text in the Heian period and even then, temple feuds were commonplace, be it imperial appointments for Zasu or scripture. The four biggest temples of the time were Tōdaiji, Kōfukuji, Enryakuji, and Midera. The first armed conflict was when 56 monks from Tōdaiji protested at the residence of a Kyoto official over an appointment. This precedent leading to more such events happening in the future and even becoming fatal in some cases. The monks became an army when the feud between Enryakuji and Yasaka shrines in Kyoto became so bad that Enryakuji formed their warrior monks into a standing force. One cannot be sure if this army was made of all monks or if there were mercenaries in it too. As the Zasu or abbot at the time, Ryogen, set rules for the monks that prevented them from leaving Mount Hie during their 12 year long training had them cover their faces and not carry weapons, which would have hindered the ability of the army's size and troops if followed to the letter. Thus, the armies became larger and thus the scope of violence and on two occasions, Midera was even burned to the ground by monks of Enryakuji. These conflicts taking on the standard politics with alliance of different temples joining one or another in a fight for power and prestige. So that is the start of how the Sohei came into being. Join us next time as we go into the Genpei War and further. If you like what you see, subscribe, comment, let me know what you think. Thank you very much. Till next word.